right, everybody, we got the Sideshow Collectibles booth at New York Comic Con 2019. So they got a decent sized booth, definitely smaller than, than what they put on at, at San Diego. So we're not gonna hit everything at this booth because a lot of it's been seen before, but we'll hit up all the X-Men, some DC stuff for you, and uh, we'll see what else we can get. But not a full booth tour this year, but we'll do the best we can. All right, some DC <laughs> offerings from Sideshow at New York Comic Con. Got the Scarecrow. You know, we saw this in San Diego as well. But it's, it's nice. It's a nice statue. It's a lot better than I thought it would be based on that initial reveal. I didn't really like it. But it's not too bad, you know. If you're into the Batman line, you want to get the villains, the rogues. He's got one of the best rogue galleries of any superhero. Scarecrow staple in that. So it's not a bad piece. There you go, there's Scarecrow from Sideshow at New York Comic Con. We'll go around the corner, we're gonna look at Joker next. All right, we got the Heath Ledger Joker. Now, when I was in San Diego, I did not see this clapping hand option. He has alternate hands that you can put down on his knees. Nice mixed media on this statue. Again, look at the shoes and socks. They look so cool. Joker. You know, the, the likeness is pretty good. Uh, this is sculpted by Matthew Black. He, he's an excellent artist. It, it is good. I mean, you look at this, there's no mistaking that, who that is. You know, if you put them next side by side picture, you know, you'll notice differences. But standing here looking at it, it looks pretty good. There you go, Joker, Heath Ledger course from the Dark Knight movie. We're here at New York Comic Con 2019. All right, Starfire, part of the DC line here. She's a nice looking piece. I like that portrait. I love the purple. I'm a little biased there, purple and orange, you know, but not a bad looking statue. We got Wonder Woman. You know, she's been out for a while. We'll get around, look at Batgirl. Some new Batgirl. I still, I think, prefer the original Batgirl. I saw it at a vendor down the way to, earlier today, and uh, I think I prefer the original, but this one's not bad. All right, we're, this is Sideshow's original Court of the Dead line. That's true. And this statue caught my eye. It's Court of the Dead, but it's got some color to it with that blue. Now this one is called Elianastus. I don't believe this has gone up for pre-order just yet. So it's still a newer piece. Nice mixed media. It's got a little bit of a floating head effect there. You know, the masks are kind of floating in her hand. I like this one. You know, this, this line is not uh, something I collect, but they always put a lot of effort into these and they all look really cool. And then we got around the corner, we've got here, holding up the head. This is reminiscent of one of the red Sonya pieces that they've done with the head. That looks cool. And then they've got a smaller scale death statue in front here. I'm not sure, they must be expanding the Court of the Dead line. They got another one here, Scratcher, or Scratch, and then Riaz. 
So the sideshow is still going full steam with the Port of the Dead. And like I said, they all look really, really good. They're not really for me. I'll show you the back of that Elianastis. Great mixed media there. So that's the Court of the Dead stuff from Sideshow at New York Comic Con 2019. Okay, we're gonna look at some of the horror pieces from Sideshow, New York Comic Con booth. This is the Nun. Now this statue is smaller scale. I'm going to guess one sixth. Price of 225. It must be up for pre-order already. There's a lot of statues out there for this movie. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's how good it is, but there you go, there's the nun, and we're gonna get a, a look at Mr. Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. Mixed media piece. I've never seen this like like stand out. I used to watch these movies as a kid. Again, I had an awesome video rental place that would just let us rent whatever we wanted. Except for porn. But anything else. Anything outside that little gate, you know, you remember those they put up the the fence for the adult area and anything outside of there we can rent it. So Freddy Krueger. Not a bad piece. So that's the horror stuff. We'll move over and we'll look at the aliens next. Alright, so we got some alien pieces from Sideshow Collectibles booth. This is the alien queen maquette. Big statue. Look at the base, it's got lots of detail on that base. Got the little hatched eggs, the xenomorphs coming out, or the face huggers, I should say. Look, they look like little kiwis on the base. It's about the size of a kiwi, anyways. Cool piece. Oh, look at the tail. Queen looks good. Show you her face. The crown, headpiece. It's a cool statue. So there's the alien queen maquette. And then we're going to look at. The Alien Warrior Mythos. You see the cat in there? So Mythos is sort of a reimagining by Sideshow. Sort of do their own little spin on things. They did a Star Wars line that was really, really popular. Now doing the same with Sideshow. Look at the dome, it looks really good. The skull showing through the dome. Got the very alien-esque base. You know, like one of the ships from the movies. Pretty cool. There you go. Alien Queen Maquette and the Alien Warrior Mythos statue. From New York Comic Con 2019. All right, so right in the middle of Sideshow's booth is some of the designer toys. Unruly Industries. I wanted to get a look at these because you know, I was never, wasn't sure about them. When you know, I saw them on the site, wasn't sure what to expect. But they look well done. Look at the Dracula here, or Bat Brain, I should say. It's cool. The eyes look really neat. It's a nice, clean looking piece. Okay, and they got some, some monsters in there. We'll go around this side and we'll look at. Werewolf. Sea monster. Fish face. These are all done by Ian McDonald. He did a nice job. We'll go around this way. We'll look at some of the Marvel unruly pieces. We got Miles Morales. Black Panther. We got the Merc with a mouth. 
any Marvel collection is not complete without Deadpool. Yeah, please, do that because I'm sorry, this okay. has been really successful. Um, and it'd be great for you if you go to China, China. There. So we're going to go get around the other side here. Bear with me. All right, some more monsters from Unruly. The invasion of Behemoth. We've got Crab Hulu, Terror of the Deep. Wrath of Wormzilla. Here we got some kind of ethnic styled Marvel bus. This is Wolverine. And we've got Iron Man. These both look pretty neat. I mean, something different, you know? And then come around here. Batman, Harley Quinn. And the Joker. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap things from the Sideshow booth at New York Comic Con 2019. Again, it wasn't the entire booth, but uh, I got most of the statues for you guys, some designer toys, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tour. Hopefully we'll be back next year. Talk to you guys soon.